And now to the weather watch and a live look at the Dan Ryan. It's pretty smooth sailing out there and a gorgeous finally really feeling like summer afternoon. Yes, Mary Kay is here now, though, tracking a storm threat, of course, for tomorrow. <laughs> it won't last. Right, heat <laughs> builds, humidity builds, and guess what? Storms on the way, but you're right, warm today. Normally, we reach 85 this time of year. We made it to 88 degrees. The record, though, 98 set back in 1974. So we were at 88 today. Tomorrow, we're turning up the heat. We are going to 96 for a forecast high at Midway, 93 degrees for the forecast Valparaiso. Zone 90 in Waukegan, and we are turning off the lake breeze tomorrow. A strong southwesterly wind will warm everybody up. Now let's talk about the steamy and stormy conditions building tomorrow. In the morning, there's a chance of a leftover shower or storm from the overnight activity. Then I think most of the midday hours through lunch, early afternoon, it's just going to be windy, hot, and humid as those feels like temperatures, the heat index values reach 95 to 100. And then the cold front moves in with the heat of the afternoon and early evening and that gives us a strong or severe threat. Now let's look at the feels like temperatures. This is the heat index value of 100 expected at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for places like Joliet and Morris, 97 for a feels like in Ottawa, 99 in Kankakee and 98 in Rensselaer. Right now we have 87 at O'Hare. Winds are calm though and as those winds were dying down, we set up a very small lake breeze. So it's 79 in Waukegan, 75 at Chicago's lakefront, but start heading west. You see 80 Eight degrees in Aurora and McHenry and Joliet, 87 in DeKalb. So high pressure keeping things quiet for us for right now. But notice ahead of this warm front, we see a cluster of shower and thunderstorm activity. That's going to head in our direction. And especially as we get into the 2 a.m. hour, when the whole system starts moving closer to us, that's when we're going to see a greater chance for showers and thunderstorms to move in. So when we break it down, it's really from about 1 a.m. till 4 a.m. we could see showers and a couple of thunderstorms. Here's that break I was talking talking about in the early afternoon hours, then the heat of the day building around four or five o'clock tomorrow through sunset, the front will pass and that's when we will see that gusty storm threat. So the leading edge of this warm front is bringing showers and storms there into the quad cities and those will be moving in our direction overnight, but it looks like our severe threat comes later in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. A slight risk that some of those storms could be strong or severe because we'll have reached 92 degrees, cold front interacts, and that touches off that strong to severe threat. Cooler on Thursday, but Brad and Erica, we're heating things back up as we reach into the weekend. All right. Yes. Thank you, Mary Kay.